Good evening. Well, let me start with an explanation and an apology. Now, for over more than 30 years, NDTV has tried to be the hallmark of election news and analysis. With exit polls and opinion polls, we've always made the point, even when we get it spot on, that there are statistical errors that shouldn't <coughs> make them be taken too seriously. You get it right, you get it wrong sometimes, that's the life of a pollster. This year, for example, all across the world, polls have had a very bad year. Greece, they got it wrong. United Kingdom, they got it wrong. Turkey, they've got it wrong. And in the last US presidential elections, the great Gallup poll got it wrong. The last time we made an error as big as this was about 32 years ago, when N.T. Ramara won with a landslide. Since then, we've never made such a big... We've made errors, but not uh, as big as this one. This time, like before, we tried our best with a large sample size and we went to every single constituency, which meant we didn't have to convert votes into seats. The sample, the poll was just taken directly. But the data from the fieldwork agency, normally a very reliable agency, was incorrect and this happens. And we are looking into why this went wrong. In any case, we take responsibility and we sincerely apologize. Secondly, on every counting day, like today, all news channels get data from one agency. Again, a very globally respected agency. This morning, the first data that came in to all news channels was completely wrong. Our trend analysis was based on this data like it has been for 35 years. Never been, uh, it's never been wrong so far. We showed the BJP head. That's what the data showed. The data, unfortunately, turned out to be incorrect. All news agents, news channels had to change their data halfway. Now, this has never happened before. And we've asked the agency for an explanation, and we've heard from them that they are going to write and explain what went wrong once they look into the errors. So we apologize to you, our viewers, for the confusion that was caused. For NDTV and for me, our aim is always to try to bring you the most objective and accurate news as quickly as possible. So thank you for trusting us and staying with us. As they say, Dora, stitta pragnia. Yes. Actually, you are the you are the perfect example. When we do well, spot on, you don't even get happy. <laughs> Dora says, why why only you? Even the BJP got it wrong, he said. That's true. That's what he told me, actually. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> no, now he's passing on it on to me. Pragnia is easier said that if you can meet triumph and disaster and treat both the imposters just the same, as Kipling writes in, if we have to meet disaster as well as meet triumph. Mm -hmm. And I think, see. no, the only advantage is that since according to you, I am 85 and you are 41, <laughs> you have one more chance, another 32 years later, of getting another one like this. I fortunately yeah, won't have that. Well, look, Parsis live to the 110 year. Come on, there's no question of that. So anyway, uh, that is an apology and uh, we are looking into why. But let's move on. It's been a fantastically uh, interesting election and a very, very significant election. And we'll be looking at various aspects and overall uh, summing up. And we've got the best minds here with us. We'll be looking at the national impact, what's going to happen, will it have any impact on Assam, will there be more Mahagat Bandhas like uh, all, all across the country, is the invincibility of the Modi uh, Shah duo being a, uh, chipped away a bit by this election. We look at the next Lok Sabha, will GST and others get through, uh, will there be a course correction, we've been talking about that during the day, will there be a cabinet reshuffle. Uh, what is going to be the impact on reforms? Already uh, a couple of prime ministers globally have tweeted about this, saying after these elections, I hope uh, Mr. Modi stays on the course of reforms. And is it going to become now a time for action? No more talking, no more theorizing, both on the economy, action, and on the fringe elements who are preaching hatred. Will there be some corrective action taken? Uh, Shekhar, just to start with you, national impact. Is it going to have an impact on the immediate elections coming up next year, like Bengal, Assam, 
Well, most certainly. I think first of all, uh, BJP now does not look like a sure shot winner. So, it is less a natural ally for every other party. So, look at Assam. Uh, Assam is a polarized state already. Right. Uh, Muslim uh, vote percentage in Assam is almost as high as in West Bengal. In fact, five districts now have Muslim majority. Uh, and also, Assam has division between B the Bengali population and Assamese population. So, uh, if the Congress and the left were to be encouraged by this to stay together, that secures Silchar and Kachar for them. And if the big unknown factor, the uh, Badruddin uh, uh, Ajmal, yes. the uh, mi minorities fr uh, front leader, if he now decides to join a combine, then I think the hopes of taking Assam through polarization are over. In any case, I think BJP has to seriously review its idea of <coughs> taking state after state through polarization because I think Bihar shows you that all Hindus don't think alike and frankly there is no vote in this country in 2015 for beating up any community. And You know, uh, one of the big findings of polls ac across the world in developed economies is that while you can have positives, in fact, in actual voting behavior, your negatives are very important. So by highlighting uh, divisions within society, you're raising your negatives, you may be raising your positive. No, it, so in, in fact, there is, uh, Mr. Modi has allowed a lot of negativity to build around his government. Right. He has to first sort that out. Right. Uh, uh, Yogendra, main lessons you've got from today's uh, elections. <coughs> what, 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 Speaking what of negativity, I, I think, uh, in a sense, BJP repeated the mistake of Delhi. They threw everything into it, yes. brought the prime minister's prestige into that. And when they thought going was tough, then they became desperate and started playing all the things which made it much worse. This on was the a repeat of Delhi in many ways. That's a good yeah, point. Because right. even here, they brought in people from outside to run the campaign. They downgraded their own leaders. In Delhi, they did that. Here, they did that. So, a lot of similarities. You're right. And downgraded the discourse on the election. You know, some pretty low stuff. Bihar, of course, touched rather low. And in this entire thing, of course, I mean, it's not that it's, it was only Mr. Modi or Mr. Shah, Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav also contributed. So in all this, the one man that shone as uh, mature, sensible, moderate was Mr. Nitish Kumar. He right. came across as the national leader, a man of something of a statesman, while Mr. Narendra Modi and Amit Shah presented themselves as local <laughs> leaders who can do anything when it comes to getting two and a half extra votes. Uh, on, you know, I, I, I'm not usually into saying I mean, the, uh, that uh, the winner got everything right. Uh, in the case of Mr. Nitish Kumar, I think they got two things right and two things partially right. They got the alliance thing that already gave them an advantage to begin with. And uh, they also had the advantage of leadership, Mr. Nitish Kumar being seen as a positive face. Two other things which they partially got right, their social coalition, it wasn't perfect till the end. They could not get EBC and Dalits entirely on their side. Right. And more or less positive agenda that they stuck to. That's right. what worked with them. They right. began with an advantage. BJP had to do something <coughs> extraordinary to cover that advantage. Right. They could not. Right. We've got uh, Mr. Javdekar uh, with us. Uh, so you've had a little time to introspect and to understand the impact of this election. Uh, from your point of view, about 12 hours since the results actually came in, do you feel now that the campaign of hatred was has been rejected by the voters and are you are you going to learn any lessons from that see we had not gone for a campaign of hatred right what happened or what was digressed was absolutely an aberration right and we have we wanted to mainstream the campaign as development on development plan but just doctor two sentences when today morning we discussed that time result was yet to be clear so let me congratulate the new government and i can assure that central government under narendra modi does not treat states differently as upa was doing we will treat all states equally and we'll walk the talk on development 
So that so is what we will give. I, I do want Most to say. Most importantly, what happened? Right, go ahead. <coughs> uh -huh. No, I just want to ask you, you said what, these were what? aberrations. But the point is the aberrations keep happening and nobody stops them. So they will become the norm. That's something we discussed this uh, earlier today. I think Shoibul mentioned it. Aberrations become the rule unless you stop them. Nobody stops them. They're getting out of control. So there was, um, uh, uh, there was a, a feeling of hatred developed in this election. <coughs> a division, divisiveness. No, but let me tell you again that earlier we will have only election on one day. And now it is spread over 35 days. <coughs> So, there are many things which you don't plan but happen and things little get digressed. But let us see the main picture. What is the main picture? Right alliance. We had right alliance in Lok Sabha with Ram Vilas Paswan and Kushwa. This time only Maji joined us. So, we were practically an old alliance. We got practically kept the same vote 3% less than Lok Sabha but that is very usual. What happened for JDU, RJD and Congress who fought separately in Lok Sabha came together. They also got reduced votes but still the difference was 7-8%. That's a huge difference. In Chhattisgarh with 1% difference. That's not quite true. You the numbers, the actual post factor numbers, difference. that's not quite true. You went down 3.5%, which is quite a big drop since, the, since, since uh, 2014. No. And after Delhi, no, no, my Sabha. question is, sir, just one second. My question is, is the honeymoon now over? You had Delhi, now you had Bihar. After no. Delhi is a small state, so there were question marks. But now Bihar cannot be ignored. Are you learning lessons from it or are you just saying it's arithmetic, bad luck, etc.? Doctor, let me tell you, Please. you cannot compare apple with orange, Lok Sabha elections, every party, because there is more fragmentation and therefore in assembly you will have 3 to 4 percent less vote, all parties who have got nearly 30 percent vote. So that 10 percent drop of their own vote is natural. So I don't see it's an unnatural. Right. If I can just bring in uh, Sachin Pilot here. Uh, uh, Sachin Pilot, one of the things that the uh, Congress did this time, which is not, we are not accustomed to seeing the Congress do, is agree to be the play second fiddle. In fact, we are third fiddle, uh, the junior most partner. So you subsumed your own interest in the larger interest. Is that a pattern that you're going to go ahead with? even say in the general election or are you going to uh, always claim that you're the big the main person to play with or have you learned something from this not at all i think uh, right. first of all i want to talk about what you said right in the beginning of the program <coughs> i think uh, your uh, exit poll and the data this morning uh, it's all a happy mistake so all's well that ends well um, <laughs> elections you know people win and lose but what's more important is you must remember the role the Congress party played in the Bihar elections. Now there is no anti-incumbency against Nitish Kumar that has been proven. But because the BJP made the stakes so high, so obviously this year that you talked about as a honeymoon period, there is a vote against the central government, obviously, because there is no BJP in the state. People wanted to tell the leadership of the BJP that the kind of politics that we have been witnessing for the last 14 months is not acceptable. And the Congress played a very important role of stitching together this alliance. Don't forget, it was the Congress party that first met Nitish Kumar and said that you will be the face of Bihar from our side. And then Laluji joined and then we had the three parties coming together. And don't forget, if I can be a little immodest, Dr. Roy, we have increased our tally by seven times. We were four seats before. We have 28 today. So we have actually done seven times as well. Okay, as but I hate, I hate that. to... Uh, these elections... I hate to puncture that a little bit. The strike rate of the JDU and RJD oh, was 80% times. and you are about 60%. They are 80%, you are 60%. No, no. I'm saying we had but four your multiple seats. is fine. Yeah, okay. Dr. Roy, we, yeah. had, we had four, time, four seats in last election. We have 28 odd seats now. I think what is more important is that people will now begin to see the depth of this loss with the BJP. It's not about another state. 
Now, when they lost in Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal won here. Nitish Kumar has won in Bihar. It's not about who's winning, but the BJP <coughs> is losing in these states, which is very important for a clear 282 majority government in the center. To have sort of an anti-incumbency within a year is is unseen before, and I think that has huge repercussions for Assam, for Bengal, and perhaps most importantly for UP. As far as the Congress Party is concerned, we live in a practical world, but at the same time, we know what our strengths are, and we want to make sure that this country is on the right track. The aberrations that were mentioned early in the program are unacceptable. Winning and losing, Congress BJP doesn't matter, but these aberrations are detrimental to our societal, you know, ethos, and we cannot compromise with that. That I think, uh, Mr. Javadekar, is the key <coughs> point. These aberrations, as you call them, are detrimental. They are anti-national, and they need to be stopped. And the leadership on top may want to stop it or not, but they've got to make it vocally uh, stop. <laughs> and 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 to lose the honeymoon within 16 months is pretty rapid. Uh, you're going through. Anybody who wins a general election tends to win state elections after that, right? You That's right. Up? Yes, but with smaller majorities. But 16 months, I think now the time is beginning to wear I, out. I, when I, think, you know, I believe this is the first time since 99 that a, a, a party which, won, which wins a national election has lost two states in a row. Delhi is right, right after. Yeah. 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 yeah, but one many have lost. Yeah. But can I come back you know, on this aberration issue? Uh, Mr. Javadikar may not like me saying this, but you see, it's, when we say aberrations, Yes, Sakshi Maharaj, Aditya Nath, these guys are quote-unquote aberration. And you can correct those. What do you do when the aberrations are from the Prime Minister and the party president? So, you know, what, what Amit Shah said in his campaign speeches, what the Prime Minister said in his campaign speeches, were part of a well-thought-out strategy by the very highest leaders of the party. And, uh, you know, so this, this is what makes life you know, a little bit difficult here. Because it's not some. I don't know how this is to be. No. Either they they deeply introspect and. No. Is and there is there an element of truth in what Siddharth is saying that the last day of the campaign, you brought out front page ads of people hugging cows. Now, do you fight a Vikas election or people hugging cows? So that's the contradiction. How do you explain it, Mr. Javdekar? I'll explain. Right, but please. Let Thank me you. Tell you the biggest aberration or biggest designed. The uh, digression was done by Lalu Prasad. And how can now we call him secular when throughout all his campaign he spoke of Muslim, he spoke of Yadav, he asked vote on the base of religion and caste and succeeded. So at least those pseudo secular credentials, though that secular tag will nobody will attaching, he played his caste and religion politics. And he succeeded. Shoy would but you agree with that? Would you agree with that? Is there a point in uh, what Javdek, Mr. Javdekar is saying that Lalu Prashad Yadav also used caste and religion in this campaign? No, I think uh, they are essentially the product of the social justice movement. The, he was essentially using those rhetorics <coughs> which he has been using for the last 20 years. So, no, so nothing, something new. <coughs> but in any case, uh, I think most of the utterance of Lalu Prasad related to Jadavs were in response to what Narendra Modi had talked about Yodhubansis. So it is initially also uh, BJP wanted to play the caste card in a different way and they, they did it in the parliamentary election, they wanted to do it in the assembly election as well and Lalu Prasad responded to that. Not that key, this was done autonomously. Right. Uh, and, 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 you know, the, the other part is that uh, on, the, on the issue of Muslims, right? It's one thing to appeal, you know, as it shouldn't happen that you appeal to Hindus or Muslims to vote for you as Hindus <coughs> or Muslims, right? Uh, but this happens. But it, it's another matter when you, may, when you present these sections as opposed to each other, when you try to win the support of Hindus by saying, look, the Muslims are out to get you, right? Which is, which is what, which is the language the Prime Minister used uh, in Baksar, in Purnia. No, but I think Mr. Javdekar's point is that Lalu Prashad Yadav also used it. Is that correct? No. Do you agree with that? He, no, see, no, no, he, no he, not in the same way. Absolutely not. not uh, you don't uh, agree with no, let him give examples of where, well, let me, where, let me actually, where Lalu Prasad let me bring in, pit Muslims against Hindus. Let me Hindus. bring Haruban Singh in uh, one of the man of the match, men of the match uh, from the JDU in Bihar. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. There's some uh, controversy here over whether only the BJP 
had these aberrations and had a divisive election or did the RJD uh, perhaps more than the JDU also have a divisive election based on caste and religion? <coughs> Dr. Rai, yes, sir. Pehle main bahut sincerely appreciate karunga ki exit poll par apne adhyan ke baare mein aapne chuk swikar kiya. Number two, ki शुरू से महागठबंधन की केमिस्ट्री तो अच्छी थी ही उसका वोट बैंक का गणित तो ठीक था ही सोशल इक्वेशन जैसा योगेंद्र जी ने बताया बिल्कुल सही था पर उसके साथ साथ नीतीश जी का चेहरा सबसे महत्वपूर्ण था बेदाग चेहरा पूरे राज्य के लिए लगातार काम करने वाले एक पिछड़े स्टेट को अपने कार्यकाल में देश के सबसे जो आगे बढ़े हुए स्टेट है उनसे अधिक ग्रोथ रेट ले जाने वाले व्यक्ति और सबसे बड़ी चूक बीजेपी की एक और चीज में मैं कहना चाहूंगा प्रधानमंत्री हर अपनी सभा में कहते घूमते रहे कि बिहार को बिजली नहीं है बिहार के गांव में बिजली नहीं है और नीतीश कुमार जी ने यह कहा था कि अगर हम बिजली नहीं दे पाए तो वोट मांगने नहीं आएंगे बिल्कुल निरंतर निराधार और गलत बात जबकि हकीकत यह थी कि नीतीश जी ने सारी सभाओं में बताया और दिखाया और सार्वजनिक रूप से उन्होंने पंद्रह अगस्त दो को पटना के गांधी मैदान से कहा था कि अगर बिजली की स्थिति में सुधार में नहीं कर सका तो वोट मांगने नहीं आऊंगा आज बिहार के गांव में 12, 12, 15, 15 घंटे बिजली रहती है बिजली का प्रोडक्शन बढ़ा है तो इन सब चीजों से लगा कि प्रधानमंत्री पद पर बैठा व्यक्ति अगर गलत सूचनाएं दे रहा है एक ऐसे व्यक्ति के बारे में जिसने अपने पूरे चुनाव प्रचार में बिल्कुल एक मर्यादा बरती और जैसा अरुण सोरी ने कहा अपने इंटरव्यू में कि इस पूरे डायलॉग में प्रधानमंत्री ने अपने को स्टेट लीडर के रूप में रिड्यूस कर लिया और स्टेट्समैन के रूप में पूरे देश में नीतीश कुमार नजर आए नीतीश कुमार हमेशा अपने भाषणों में बातचीत में संतुलित दिखाई देते रहे उसकी बड़ी भूमिका रही राइट सर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट मिस्टर जावड़ेकर टू रिस्पॉन्स टू दैट डिड यू मेक अ ब्लांडर इन दैट that saying there's no electricity for one week in some states that came last monday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon when actually bihar is most places are now getting electricity so that can backfire do you think that was a mistake no i will say that our all states are giving 24/7 electricity to all villages gujarat madhya pradesh goa then chatisgarh and still bihar without industrialization cannot supply 24 hour power so that's the difference but yeah you can pick up <coughs> that oh it is not 2 hours it is 12 hours if somebody is happy with that that's a different issue what so, is important issue but I, one I, issue i concede right i one issue i'll concede go ahead that nitish got benefit of our company for seven and a half years because <laughs> major developmental works which he exhibited so that's not a self criticism tell me before you leave years. before you leave just tell me two mistakes you made in this election mistakes. campaign what please please repeat can you tell me two mistakes you made in this election campaign the bjp what mistakes what have you so learned two mistakes i'll tell you the one is we are a thinking party and we'll definitely analyze it and there why, why there will be only two mistake i can list out seven eight mistakes also okay listen there will be many other people we will listen to that yeah. and i will listen we will improve and go with confidence so listen list one at least <coughs> List one mistake. No, why, why one mistake? Okay, list There seven. There can be little more, but <laughs> the, no, it is not a mistake. <laughs> they became alliance, which they fought separately. That's not a so mistake. So the whole ground ground of election changed. That's not a mistake, sir. So you are not answering the question. Can I ask one question? Yeah, Mr. Soibal wants to ask you a question. Yeah, no, I mean. You just now considered that uh, yeah. Nitish Kumar uh, wa, uh, with uh, BJP uh, did marvelous thing in Bihar, but you have never projected that component of your achievement in the context of election. You have been always referring about 25 <coughs> years of uh, uh, rule of uh, RJD and BJP, uh, RJD and uh, <coughs> JDU. So, secondly, 
you had one of the person like uh, <coughs> Sushil Modi who had an enviable record as a deputy chief minister, as a finance minister. I but absolutely that was not, agree. That was not highlighted. So, in some sense, I think even the prime minister was in competition with a uh, state level leader. So, possibly that was not in good taste. Actually, right. instead of 25 years, we should have said 17 and a half years bad rule and 7 and a half year good rule because we were partner and not only partner, we were the reason for good performance. So that was a mistake. You should have said Nitish 7 and a half years was very good. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah. Arvind Gupta, you watch, you Thank look you. at the data, you're a whiz kid and um, you analyze, no, well, I mean, kid is compared to us, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> if I ask you the same question, three mistakes in this election. See, I think uh, we took upon uh, the combined uh, arithmetics, uh, it's a mathematical challenge, right? I mean, mathematical mountain to climb, which was very difficult. And well, that's not a mistake. No, no, I'm coming to the okay, mistakes. Okay, okay, that's uh, just uh, laying so the foundation. Oh, yeah, I'm laying the foundation. <laughs> the mathematical <laughs> mountain was too, too tough to climb, and I think uh, <laughs> in that, a lot of factors from, a, from if you take a very, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Javedkar already said that party will do that, but my personal thing on that is that a lot of formulas that worked for us, the four states that we won last time, uh, last year actually, after the general elections, and nobody is talking about that, uh, is, uh, you know, we won on a very combined leadership. Uh, maybe that formula did not work in, in the state of Bihar. We thought, you know, by rotating leadership, by showing multiple faces and multiple uh, phases of the elections, multiple <coughs> regions, maybe we may be able to attract uh, different vote banks. I think uh, that did not clearly work, uh, uh, you know, in both in Delhi and in uh, uh, in, uh, in Bihar, I think, the uh, a leader took a lot of credit, uh, you know, uh, the face of Nitish Kumar versus no face, face in Arvind Kejriwal versus uh, Mrs. Bedi, that I think uh, played a big part. Uh, the second thing is, uh, I think somewhere, uh, some things you have talked about is, uh, whether you call it the fringe or the, uh, the aberrations. I think that the fear, uncertainty and doubt that was created by, by <laughs> the narrative that was created, we were not creating the narrative, we were following the narrative, we were very much on the behind on the narrative. So we could not correct the narrative when, whenever it was being said, whether rightly or wrongly. So we did not set the narrative, we actually followed the narrative and we were more on the on a back foot. And I think that, that made a very big difference. And uh, I think the message of... Uh, the message of development, development, development did not communicate well to the last mile. No. I think that's a good analysis, actually. I mean, these are three points. Would you like to add to that, Chari? Any? Uh? <coughs> you know, how things could have been done differently? <coughs> yeah, it could have been. Um, you know, I, 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 you asked initially. You started off saying, like, uh, what is the effect of all this on BJP? Yeah. Okay. See, uh, I remember when. Um, we got two seats in parliament right that election right uh, atal bihari vajpayee addressed a public meeting in bombay hmm. so his opening sentence was hum chunav haar gaye lekin himmat nahi haare so bjp follows that and i think all political parties in this country more or less has that grit and determination to bounce back to bounce back right and the most important element that any political party requires <coughs> is, is an amount of thick skin <laughs> which the bjp also has <laughs> true so with all these endowments i don't think we don't we have to worry much about the future of any political party but Except, can i just uh, mention to you that there are already rumblings within the bjp about how things should be handled how the fringe element should be immediately cut to size we've seen chandan mitra right is a thinking person he's written an article already we've seen people come on and a little more vocal a little more worried about what's going on so that kind of impact of course nobody's going to give up and say that's the end you are going to bounce back everybody bounces back in politics as you say you have to be thick skinned but just the feeling of invincibility and the honeymoon and what you have to do <coughs> to bounce back that has changed isn't that changed you know 
immediately after the parliament election in 2014 yes. 2014 election there was there was an election in uttar pradesh uh, where uh, the by elections and bjp lost as many as nine seats i think because mayawati almost yeah. opted out so that was so an understanding that's why bipolar yeah it became very bipolar we can we can we can always mm -hmm. blame it i mean like they say the <coughs> lawyers mistakes are hanged the doctors mistakes are buried the politicians mistakes are passed on to exit polls <laughs> 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 oh, that's beautiful that's beautiful yeah, <laughs> We have an LMA, don't worry. <laughs> Arvindita, you, you know, wanted to say... This is so wonderful to have some sense of humor in a tough moment, you know. That's what makes our politics and our political debate so much fun. No, but why exactly. lose it? Why I lose mean, it? we have already lost an election. Why lose the sense of humor? <laughs> Sorry. It's Arvindita, you wanted to say something. You were, were no, the, the only point I wanted to mention is that uh, I think uh, there is the... The big learning, uh, you know, you're talking about the internal rumblings and things like that. I think there is a lot of analysis that is required on, on this uh, the plus 21 percent votes that uh, the others have got in this election and how much of that is actually rebels. And uh, I think that will require a deep data analysis to be figuring out how much, how much roles the others and the rebels played in uh, in either party. So it we was don't 20 know the last time. See? Others was 20 percent last time. It's about the yeah. same yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at the if you look at vote shares, you know, I, I don't. Yes, sir, you know, because there we've heard this, players, this, right? I mean, there were. I promise you, young youngster as you are, we've heard this. He's also a youngster. We've heard this is an issue we've heard for 25 years, and rebels cancel each other out on both sides and 21 percent is not a very high amount it's about the same as last time and it makes a difference if the contest is very close if you lost it by three seats or five seats then one can understand Quite these two very two. marginal yeah. things playing a role yeah. this is too big this is a the the again the, the dissenters the rebels i mean i think that need there needs to be i was clarifying on the rumblings part of it yeah. because yeah. there have yeah. been a lot of talk about it what what role but you know, if you look at, if you look at vote, the vote share arithmetic uh, the Mahagat Bandhan compared to 2014 appears to be down about 4%. Uh, Ham, Ham got, gets 2.3. So that accounts for a big chunk of it. Uh, and then, you know, loss of another percent, percentage in a so that's about 6, 7%. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I mean, I'm saying total because they, they okay. polled about 45% or 46 in, in 2014. 47, yes. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, they're 42, 41.9 right now. So no, no, they're, they're much lower. There's 6 or 7% difference. If you, right? if you look yes, at yes, yes. Uh, on the EC website, it's 41.9%. EC website normally is a bit uh, yeah. Today's not the day when we talk so much about... Lags a That's right. You know, Dr. Roy is a little uncomfortable when we go back to exit polls. But when we started it, when we started it... You, you, in fact, you said it in so many words that the total uh, figure of these two parties, RJD and uh, JDU, uh, comes to the same figure as it is here. So, what, th what they did not do in 2010, they did in uh, 2014. No, but one of the things that all of you were saying before is that the votes won't be additive. Fine. But you created such a polarization that you... Help the addition, <laughs> didn't you? No. And as the second point, which I thought yeah, was very interesting. Polarization is concerned, I'll tell you. With great uh, difficulty, you have memorized one word. <laughs> so, what is that? Sita Pragya. <laughs> <laughs> you know it better than I do. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Lalu that, Prasad that, Yadav, that's his entire philosophy and, philosophy and ideology. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Lalu Prasad's speech? He says, Ye Amit Shah jo hai, wo narbakshi hai. I mean, it will take some time to memorize that for you. <laughs> Man eater. Man, Man eater. And ye Modi jo hai, wo Brahma Pishach hai. I fact, don't think, I, in fact, fact, many of these things should not be repeated. Chariji, I tried to translate it and I translated it very inaccurately as abominable bhoot. But Lalu's explanation you know, is that I said Shaitan, so I said Brahm Pishach. Ka. So, Let's so, bring in one of the, the, another man of the, the match, uh, Pavan Varma. Pavan so Varma is joining us. Speech. When it, I mean, I, I hate it. Right. I don't want any hate speech at all for that matter. Right. But, but in spite of all these hate speeches, I mean, look at it the other way around. But if, if, if your exit polls had come right, you think all this would have been right? No. So if BJP no, was but wrong, the, but, uh, but the so was Chari JDU and no, but so I would still say, Chari Ji, that there's a difference. No. See, there's a difference between personal abuse, 
right? So shaitan, brahmpishash, all this is really terrible. Such words should not be used, right? And and the EC faulted. Uh, correct, uh, correct, correct. And, and Rahul Gandhi. The EC faulted the so BJP also. Yeah, exactly. So, so no, but the BJP leaders were faulted not for invective, but for communal, not for personal, no, for, for vitiating no. the communal atmosphere. There's a big Which I think you were also critical Chari of. Ji, uh, yeah. Chari, Chari, okay. Chari, Chari, there's a larger question. So I was just bringing in Pavan Verma, uh, man of the match. Uh, Pavan Verma, thank you very much for joining us. You said our exit poll was wrong. We apologized and we said we tried our best. And you get it right sometimes, we get it right other times and uh, life carries on. Uh, uh, Sachin Pilot, who's on the uh, uh, show with us right now, live with you, is saying that the Congress actually played quite an important role in getting uh, Laluji and Nitish ji together. How would you react to that? No, I believe uh, the Congress was an important, is an important partner of the Mahagat Bandhan. And it could have played a role in strengthening the Mahagat Bandhan. But let me mention to you <coughs> that Nitish Kumar and Lalu Prasad had begun the process of coming together right after their ignominious defeat in the 2014 election. My Raj Sabha election was held just after that. And uh, Nitish ji and Lalu ji had come together for that. Uh, uh, there were also uh, <coughs> 10 bipoles in Bihar when uh, the RJD, JDU and Congress had come together. So the process has been on for a year. What has happened now is to provide for the first time a much larger canvas for this uh, coming together to happen. And what amazes us also, and we have been part of the process, is how it happened so seamlessly. Uh, I mean, on every step we were told we are going to fail. When we came together, when there was the selection of the chief minister, when there was the question of division of seats, but then there was the question about transferability of votes. On each step we were told that we are going to fail and on each step the Mahagadbandhan somehow appeared stronger, more coordinated and more united. You will be surprised Pranoy that uh, the three <coughs> leader, leaders of the three parties have visited each other's constituencies more than once their candidates to canvas for the other party's candidates. It was a remarkable... And so the uh, net result yeah. was... And I, I, I must uh, the net result actually, was for the record, I must uh, add something that uh, what you're saying is correct. And I asked Nitish, how did this actually come about? Did Lalu Prashad Yadav approach you or did you... And he said, frankly, I phoned Lalu Prashad Yadav one evening late, left a message, and Lalu Prashad Yadav phoned me the next morning. So Nitish... Uh, Kumar actually took the first step. But in, in the process, what has the Congress learned? Are, 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 are you ready to play second fiddle in other places <laughs> as well? That was the key question, Sachin, pilot. Like I said, Dr. Roy, I think this election has been stellar in many, uh, in many aspects. And every state has a different dynamic. I think it's wrong to sit today and pontificate as to what the next election might throw up. But one thing is clear that the invincibility of the BJP has really been destroyed. Um, the fact that everybody thought that the BJP just can't lose, we proved that wrong. And the Congress party remains as committed as ever to strengthen the secular fabric in the political dispensation as much as we can. We have Bengal, we have Assam, we have then UP coming up. And the Congress party will do whatever it takes to make sure that we remain a country, a society that everybody loves and respects. I think the vote also <coughs> was a negative vote for the kind of politics we've seen from uh, Yogi Adhinath and Sadhvi, whatever her name, I forget her name. All these rabid voices were becoming something of uh, a symbol of the ruling dispensation. And voice was against, the vote was against those voices and the Congress party is right at the forefront in taking on these challenges. Please, uh, you know, right. winning and losing elections is part of politics. But somebody said earlier about how much of a thick skin each party should have. I just hope the skin on the ruling party doesn't become too thick and then we'll have a problem on our hands. Right. I just want to bring in Pavan uh, Varma again. Uh, one thing that uh, Nitish Kumar mentioned today in his, uh, after his victory was that this has got national implications. There is a national leadership issue uh, on the horizon. Can you flesh that out a bit more for us? <laughs> Is there going to be a national Mahagat you Bandhan know, uh, sort of uh, effort? What I believe, no, what I believe is that whether how it translates into the hardware of politics, there is a software of politics which is emerging in the form of a credible counter narrative to the BJP-led Narendra Modi government. 
which co consists very broadly of two or three elements. One is good governance, uh, which goes beyond slogans and actually delivers on the ground. The second is economic growth, but with social justice, inclusive growth, which does not appear to be elitist. And thirdly, to pursue both of these within an atmosphere of religious and social harmony, uh, where, where, where the nation is not at, in a state of permanent disquiet. And I believe that's very important for a country like India. So I believe what Bihar's election today, this definitive uh, election, has sent a message that there is space for a credible counter-narrative. And in that context, certainly, Nitish Kumar uh, and the Mahagadbandan as a whole must have a gr much greater space today in national politics and, and will do so t until 2019. Shekhar, is this going to be the precursor for something at the national level? Well, I think, frankly, uh, in national politics, voters, if you go by history, don't particularly like Mahagat Bandhans. They have a bad experience. So I think for the opposition, now the best policy is salami slicing the problem. Let them not look at the whole thing together. Let's let them go to the next state and next state and next no, state. Because each state it's has its own dynamic. Polit politicians to be at you know, Mahagat but Bandhan, but for voters, you know, ideas can't be salami slice shaker. No, no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking I'm I'm looking at larger alliances. In, in, the, if, if in the electoral I'm looking analysis, at the software do, of the new. Do these things work? These alliances work generally. Politics. I'm looking I'm looking at the beef. I mean, the ex <laughs> uh, the experience of the last uh, beef of the two, matter uh, two or three decades is that these uh, grand alliances uh, national front third front fourth front they don't hold very long because there's actually very little that unites them there is a contingency there is an opportunistic contingency that brings them together they last that much two or three or two or three years event. also because May I make the real counterpoint uh, yeah. uh, uh, just, I just let uh, Yogendra let finish. me say something which you might wish to sorry, counter sorry. even more so strongly. Sorry. Uh, uh, one is this question of the alliances, which tend to be very limited, two or three years. They serve a purpose and after that they disappear. Uh, the principal arena of the politics is state. It's not the national terrain. So this tends to be short term. But I think you know, thinking about that. Except in 77, I guess. Yeah, I mean. That's a very that special. Again, yeah, it's very special thing. Again, lasted, what, three years? Right. Then disappeared. Right. Um, on the larger question of the counter narrative, you see, today is the day for uh, JDU RJD and the sheer relief uh, that they have brought uh, to the country, not just to Bihar, is enormous. Uh, on the communal front, the kind of intolerance that was building up, there's relief. Yes, certainly the juggernaut has been stopped. Uh, NDA centrality within the country, BJP centrality within NDA, and Modi centrality within BJP, all three have been questioned. But I'm not too sure of the long-term counter-narrative. I'm not too sure. I need to be convinced, and today is not the best day to ask all these questions, but just to flag them off. I'm not too sure if uh, Bihar is headed for a higher plane of governance with Lalu Prasad Yadavji uh, holding the reins in some way. I'm not convinced that social justice movement has moved forward okay. uh, with the split. And I'm not so convinced that uh, this election has produced social harmony. It has given security, much needed security to minorities. That's different from harmony and secularism. But isn't it also given that old phrase that the Indian electorate is a wonderful, wise harmonizing, and wonderful. wise, <laughs> and they, they have the answer? Given the limited options they have on the menu, uh, they have rejected, the Bihar electorate has rejected so much of money power which was used by the BJP That's this time, very which is point. remarkable. They have rejected <coughs> this very low grade propaganda done by the Prime Minister of India, which is what distinguishes him from what Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav may have done. He is the <coughs> Prime Minister of this country. Uh, people of Bihar have rejected that. All these are great things. But let's not forget that voters have a Mayor. very limited menu to choose from. Can so I, you know, that is when you want Pavan is. Verma can to I react like, to that? Can I add That's something right, to that yeah. and put a question to Pavan uh, based on this? Based yeah, on what, just, yeah. uh, which, is, which is that you've heard what Yoginder said and you know we saw uh, today uh, a great display by uh, Nitish Kumar and Lalu Prasad of, of unity, Bonhomie, uh, which uh, was obviously sending a signal to everybody that we will work together. Then I saw the interview that uh, Lalu Prasad gave to uh, Barkhada. And it struck me that you cannot have two more dissimilar people. 
Nitish Kumar, very, very measured, calm, statesman-like. Lalu Prasad, folksy, earthy, and Flamboyant. also saying some kind of conspiratorial, like he was saying, I will reveal why the PM went to Dubai, he went to meet somebody. <laughs> Are you worried by some of this stuff that, you know, uh, uh, you know it's one thing to have an alliance. Basically, both of you are saying, will it last? Or how long will it last? What, what are the strains no, that you anticipate? I, 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 what will it do to Bihar? <laughs> I, Voices I, I of doom. assure you that. <laughs> No, no. I mean, these were expected because they were voices of doom when the alliance began. Now that it has succeeded, the next question is, will it last? <coughs> but I can assure you of one thing. Lalu Prasad ji and Nitish Kumar have been comrades in arms. They actually go back to their student days. Yes, they were bitter opponents at one time. But when they come back, there is a very acceptable idiom in which they can converse and discuss matters, which is peculiar to their own past. Right. But that, that apart, with Nitish Kumar as Chief Minister, I can assure you, and the track record will prove it right, he is not going to be able, going to compromise on issue, any issues which affect <coughs> governance, nor is there any need to presume that Dalu Prasadji today will necessarily intervene in any matter which is derogatory to governance. We have been in power in Bihar for the last 10 months on uh, as a minority government with the support of the RJD. Let anybody point to one instance where Lalu Prasad ji has intervened on a matter of law and order or intervened in the functioning of the government. So I am just saying we should not become prisoners of the past with Nitish Kumar as chief minister and then Yogen said it has not done nothing for social justice. Right. If there is one thing that characterizes right. Mr. Nitish Kumar's nine year rule was that he took the benefits of economic growth <coughs> to the poorest of the poor as a part of institutionalized, thought out, administrative discipline. Uh, very and quickly, that is why there was no end. Very quickly, uh, Arvind him. Gupta and Shoibal want to react. Arvind? Yeah, Gupta? like, uh, you know, we don't want to take anything away from uh, the victorious parties today, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I think, uh, you know, one part of what uh, Yogendra Ji said, I would agree that I think there is uh, a very uh, uncalm alliance in the future and uh, one will have to see the working from a good governance perspective when two very different uh, <coughs> working styles and uh, charismas take into like the bjp and the shiv sena or you, you, or the BJP we, we do have a share of problems <laughs> we do have a share of problems there is no doubt about that and basically I think actually you again this is all alliances have their not problems. all alliances. Yeah. I mean, no, but you know, uh, uh, BJP's yeah. problem is that BJP's <coughs> problem with no, its natural its ally. Shiv Sena and Akali Dal are BJP's are natural ally. Party majority, which is like the BJP now run by Mr. Narendra Modi. Shabal Gupta, yes. Uh, um, Pawanji, congratulations. Uh, essentially, the you, difference between uh, RJD and JDU is uh, non antagonistic. Historically, Lalu Prasad and Nitish Kumar have been working together. I think in the future also, they will almost behave like a Siamese twin. It is not a, it is not like PDP and BJP in uh, Kashmir or Sib Sena or uh, BJP in you know. Maharashtra. There are many convergence points and culturally they differ, politically they do not differ. So, I want to actually take that point to Mr. Devesh Thakur, who is uh, uh, BJP from Bihar. Uh, who's joined us. Mr. Thakur, thank you very much for joining us. Um, the key point is one of the issues that's been raised is that this became a very central <coughs> campaign. Outsiders came in at the top running the campaign and uh, they made the same mistakes <coughs> as Delhi. The local leaders were not built up. Uh, is that one of the errors and any other error you can uh, highlight? How would you have liked to things to be changed? Uh, Dr. Roy, I've been listening to all the all the uh, talk and the discussions of the eminent panelists and uh, some friends of mine also there along with you. If I were to analyze these elections, I will not uh, go to the mistakes of what the uh, BJP alliance or the BJP leaders did. It was plain and simple, a coalition of convenience, a politics of opportunism and absolutely down-to-earth, brazen, casteist sentiments being exploited. And they got uh, 
they got they, they they got some help by some unwanted unintended unwarranted statements by the leaders from the bjp and the the allied organizations what kind of statements which... if, if if you ask me one reason Right. No, you so know very well what statements I'm referring to. Yeah. So that okay. I mean, you can't uh, as a party you can't control what others do, but you can control what you do. Do you think those statements were right. criticized openly and stopped in time, or was that a mistake that they were allowed to just go by? No. No. By the time, by the time they were stopped, by the time our senior leaders reacted, right. I think a lot of damage had been done. Right, and the I, and the leaders of this Mahagathbandhan, they were quick enough to pluck them in the air, and present it to the electorate in a different manner. <laughs> Absolutely, and maybe they can they were able to they they were successful in convincing them. Right, we we'll just take a short break for two minutes and be back uh, to carry this a little forward because we're getting to some core issues about this fascinating and important election. See you in a moment from now. Welcome back. Uh, just let's have a look at some of the <coughs> results and the implications and understand what actually happened in this election. Uh, these are not your opinion polls and exit polls. This is actual data. Good. Uh, so let's have a look at, for example, what were the strike rate of the overall alliances and their different partners and were there major differences within them? Let's have a look at the comparative strike rates. Let's have a look in the Mahagat Bandhan. The RJD, 79%. Lalu, almost an 80%. That means one, almost 8 out of 10 seats. The JDU, 7 out of 10 seats, 70%. And the Congress, 63%. Now, these can't always be compared exactly because maybe the Congress was given some not so good seats because they really didn't have uh, a very strong hand in this, but maybe they were and they just couldn't carry their but weight. Congress was also given a very large share of upper caste candidates. Oh, okay. right, right, right. Yes, yes. Which is not the. Well, the interesting thing, thing in is that the percentage of <laughs> upper caste candidates that the, J, uh, the JDU RGD combined had was equal to the upper caste percentage in the population. About 15%. Well, for the, well, well, the about BJP 15. had BJP plus 40 percent of BJP's candidates came from the upper caste, caste rather than. And uh, let's have a look at uh, the strike rate on uh, the BJP alliance. Just have a look at this. BJP strike rate 34 percent, RSLP 9 percent, uh, Mr. Paswan 7 percent, that's 7 out of 100, that's basically 1 out of 10 if that, and Ham, Mr. Manji's party, 5 percent. One so seat for Mr. Manji, that's about it, that's out about of 20, it. that's right. right. So Arvind Gupta, one of the issues was your alliances just didn't work, number one. And number two, if I can just put this to you, you've got such good leaders down there. You've got uh, Shushil Kumar Modi, you've got Ravi Shankar Prashad, you've got other good leaders and they were just kind of in the back burner uh, for this election. Do you think they could have been given more prominence? As you said, a bit like Delhi. No, I think uh, uh, all the leaders actually uh, canvassed a lot, uh, including uh, Sushil Modi ji, Ravi Shankar Prasad, they were all in the ground. Uh, 
canvassing they've done uh, their public uh, rallies and speeches so uh, but yes there was no one phase to the campaign so uh, i mean there are two different things no right. one phase to the campaign right. but, every, but all the leaders were there, used yeah. and, and and you know they what about these percentages that your alliances were yeah so that is uh, that is something actually uh, you know we'll need need to see what was expected of each alliance partner and what they performed but definitely from uh, you know for example the ljp uh, from something like 13% vote share in the in the general elections they're down to about 5% so uh, there's been a more than a more negative swing some on some of the alliance Pranay, partners uh, Pranay, there are real issues here for example what was mm -hmm. the bjp's campaign uh, one of the elements in bjp's campaign was jungle raj now ljp is a party which is deeply involved with the underworld with the mafias uh, and with criminal politicians in bihar so if you wanted to go to polls in bihar on the slogan of jungle raj this was the wrong company to keep you don't and have this person but, this uh, party as an ally and not just this and we saw uh, we were present uh, uh, i think what was uh, shohar uh, and we saw mr sushil, sushil kumar modi there campaigning and this was a ham candidate who was the candidate the wife of anand mohan singh Sweet. who is serving life sentence confirmed by the supreme court for murdering the district magistrate and ias officer and dalit ias officer of his <coughs> district <coughs> he is a mafia leader he is an underworld don and if bjp is campaigning for him as an ally How and say and, 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 and his wife and son are saying we want freedom <coughs> for him we want him out of handcuffs i think this whole idea of jungle raj goes out of a wretched window and i remember we asked mr sushil kumar modi that you know he's a criminal he's a, he, he he's an underworld don he is a convicted underworld don for murder of an ias officer and you think it's okay to campaign for him and he said no but if you look at it carefully <laughs> he wasn't really arrested as a criminal i mean give me a break <laughs> the man it's no, a, it's a but sentence but confirmed but by supreme court of india how can you be in that company i, I you know the supplement what what shekhar has said i just wanted to yes, supplement yes. that uh, when uh, lovely anand was inducted in ham uh, jitan ram maji said that before the chief minister is going to take office he will ensure that anand mohan is released from the jail and they he took it for I granted know, that i mean can you imagine will. you know mr krishnaya the uh, the uh, <coughs> the is officer who was lynched and he was a, he was a, he was a himself a dalit dalit he himself a dalit yes i know uh, so so these are things look you can't say that my underworld is fine the other guys <laughs> underworld is world is bad it's like chota rajan is a patriot davud ibrahim is a It, it, in fact, e e even in Koshi, there were rumours of the BJP lending tacit support to uh, Papu Yadav and his people. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, uh, and so we can, you know, if so you, Shah Abudin is bad, uh, Anand Mohan Singh is fine. Shahadri Chari. No, if you look at the strike rate, if you look at the strike rate, and then if you look at the parties which have lost, <coughs> you can keep on, you know, BJP bashing. No, no. We can do we can analyzing. Can analyzing. I, I, By I, I, the way, whoever loses feels. Yeah, I'm coming to that. We're not bashing anybody. I'm coming to the analysis part. <laughs> I mean, I would have loved to do uh, RJD bashing, bashing if they had also lost. <laughs> <laughs> But no, we can still do RJD bashing. This is what is called. This is a fact. This is deep analysis, not bashing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Only we've I been mean, bashed today. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> And quite rightly. But if you look at it. but in spite of all these candidates being in the wrong every party has its own share of uh, criminals every party has its own share of those words i am not repeating now <laughs> <laughs> so all these things are there the strike strike rate is terribly dependent on the first past the post, post system yes that is the whole tragedy of or the <laughs> benefit of it but if you look at the voting percentage dora would probably i would engage dora as my advocate even for the next day <laughs> for the next two minutes <laughs> tell me what is the voting percentage difference of 2010 2014 2015 rjd 18% bjp 26% jdu 18% i mean do, do you think it would have been better to go on your own it would have With been five strike rates of 6% 7% yeah it you would wouldn't have, lose much no it would not have it wouldn't have been very good but rjd <laughs> and jdu could combine their vote bank 
But nobody thought so. I want to ask. Nobody thought. I want to ask. I want to ask. One more thing before you go there. One more thing. Frankly, two of your plans. One, Jangal Raj, and second, dynastic rule, that Alu is building a dynasty. Your other partner, Ram Vilas Paswan, he, his son, and his brother are already MPs. He fielded one nephew and two sons-in-law. So, you know, Jangal Raj goes out of one window, and dynastic rule goes out of the other window. So, you know, you have to choose what company you want to be seen with. Frankly, Shekar, this election tells you that Mr. Ram Vilas Paswan's politics seems to be over now. Shekar, okay. or in spite of all this, what I am trying to say is, all this is fine. One party wins, one party loses. But you tell me the vote, change of vote percentage of the Congress, the JDU, the RJD, the BJP and the Paswan. Well, you have a 4 percent fall, it almost 3.7 percent. It has been same. The only marginal difference that has been made here is that of Manji, which the 2 percent vote increase that the Manji vote should have given us has not come to no, us. No, you had 39 percent, your Gadbandar in the Lok Sabha. Now you are at about 37, you're down the other lot is 46. So a 7 percent gap in a two-way fight is huge gap. Huge. That's why if I can go to Arun Kumar Srivastava. <coughs> uh, uh, I don't want the voice to Trick question. <laughs> did you lose this, win this election or did they lose it? No, we are going to win. And the Bharati Janta Party is going to win. It's going to be 50-50. 50-50. That's why when the win started, we were not very comfortable. कि हमारा बीजे आरजेडी के साथ एलाइंस कितना बढ़िया ढंग से चल पाएगा और वो है डाउट्स एस पहले दिन से और वो लो अभी भी डाउट है नहीं नहीं अभी नहीं भारत नहीं नहीं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग अदर वे राउंड सुन लो फॉर वन इयर एक मिनट नहीं नहीं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग अपनी बिनर � लेकिन हुआ उल्टा हमारे और लालू यादव और कांग्रेस की एकता इतनी बढ़िया चली कि हमारे यहाँ कोई भी कैंडिडेट एक दूसरे के खिलाफ नहीं लड़ा दूसरा हमने एक साथ एक मैनिफेस्टो जारी किया हमने एक साथ सभी कैंडिडेट्स की लिस्ट जारी किया उसका उल्टा उनके यहाँ क्या हुआ सबकी लिस्ट अलग अलग जारी हुई हर मांझी और रामविलास पासवान के बीच में वाकयुद्ध खूब हुए कैंडिडेट्स के बारे में खूब चर्चाएँ हुई और जहाँ तक जाँच की बात है ये कहना कि जाति नहीं है या जात के आधार पर ही केवल वोट मिल गया दोनों बात सही नहीं है हिंदुस्तान की में आज की तारीख में जाति को आप राजनीति से अलग नहीं कर सकते चाहे वो तमिलनाडु हो चाहे वो कर्नाटक हो चाहे वो महाराष्ट्र हो चाहे उत्तर प्रदेश हो चाहे बिहार हो एस बिहार ज़्यादा बदनाम रहा है और वास्तव में रहा भी है लेकिन केवल जाति है ऐसा सही नहीं है मैं अच्छी तरह कह सकता हूँ कि जो लोग जात के नाते नीतीश कुमार को वोट देना चाहते थे वो ये नहीं कह रहे थे कि हम इस जात के इसलिए दे रहे हैं वो बड़े दमदारी के साथ कहते थे कि नीतीश कुमार ने विकास किया है हम उनको वोट देंगे मैं उनके पास एक प्लस पॉइंट था कहने के लिए कि हम वोट देने जा रहे हैं और जो थोड़ा शर्मा रहे थे वो भी कहते हैं हम देंगे और जो हुआ है चुनाव में भारतीय जनता पार्टी के नेता और देश के प्रधानमंत्री जिस नीचे स्तर पर उतर करके उन्होंने अपना कंपेरिजन नीतीश कुमार से किया और जो जो बातें की मैं समझता हूं जो लोग हमको वोट नहीं देने वाले थे उन लोगों ने भी केवल उनके भाषणों से प्रभावित होकर के या दुखी होकर या यही मान के कि देश का प्रधानमंत्री इस तरह की बात कर रहा है शायद एक दो परसेंट वोट मुझे हमको उनका भी मिला है जस्ट कैट रिएक्शन फ्रॉम संबित पात्रा ऑन दैट संबित पात्रा दिस हैज कम अप अ फ्यू टाइम्स इन द डिस्कशन ओवर द लास्ट आवर दैट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एट हिज लेवल मेड स्टेटमेंट्स विच were not for a prime minister to make and that brought him down to the level of a chief minister and as a result there was a backlash against that. Do you think some of the, the campaigning was a bit, uh, I was going to say edgy, but a little uh, vicious and a little, um, Shaker, you will have a better word. I think uh, I think it, it was of a low level. Low level. Of a low level. You yeah, know. I couldn't think of the words low level. Sambit Patra. You know, it's like... In fact, uh, uh, this... Go ahead. Uh, Shekhar, yes, let me, let me. In fact, this accusation that Prime Minister worked uh, I mean, uh, over time for campaigning in Bihar, 27 <coughs> rallies he held, has been repeated by the Congress Party and the opposition since about three or four days. 
I mean, see, if we have a prime minister, if we have a head of the family who is extremely hardworking, who can really perform on the ground, who, who, who is untiring, who is known for his energy, <coughs> who can hold 27 rallies. So what's wrong? That Sambit, is something that, that, that should be seen as a merit Sambit, for the organization. No. Sambit, हम उनके रैली में प्रचार करने yes, के खिलाफ yes. नहीं हैं हम ये कह रहे हैं उन्होंने जिस स्तर पे उतर करके अपनी की अपनी तुलना एक मुख्यमंत्री से और ऐसी ऐसी झूठी बातें ऐसी बातें की जो एक प्रधानमंत्री को शोभा नहीं दे नो 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 आई डोंट बाय दैट एब्सोल्युटली नो नंबर वन टेल मी अ सिंगल वर्ड दैट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अटर्ड व्हिच वाज अन पार्लियामेंट्री ही नेवर अटर्ड एनी अन पार्लियामेंट्री वर्ड इन कंट्ररी टू व्हाट मिस्टर लालू प्रसाद यादव सेड टुडे मिस्टर लालू प्रसाद यादव पार्टी हैज गॉट द मैक्सिमम जस्ट लेट मी कंप्लीट प्लीज सर मिस्टर लालू प्रसाद यादव पार्टी हैज गॉट द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ सीट्स but look what kind of words he used with all respect i say that because the mandate is to be respected he called the prime minister a brahma pisach he talked about a satan i mean he talked about kabutar kaat denge daru dal denge and bhoot ko bhaga denge such kind of the words were used by uh, words were used by mr lalu prasad yadav but all said and done i mean at the end of the day he is victorious now to point a finger towards the prime minister and say that the prime minister used wrong words is absolutely wrong secondly i mean th th this accusation that the pa pa prime minister tried to mislead the people is absolutely wrong a very well all of you know to the fact that the mahagathbandhan tried to rake up some issues in a political way knowing very well that those were not the issues in reality for instance taking up the issue of reservation knowing very well that no one neither the right. rss not the bhartiya janata party wanted to do away with the reservation you wanted to score some political brownie point to this effect the prime minister clarified no beware people of bihar this is not the fact the fact in contrary to this is the 2005 report that but, mr but, uh, mr sambit patra sambit patra you made a so statement why was that statement made right in the early part of the campaign a very significant statement was made by the head of the rss why there must be a reason do you have a yeah, theory one has to look into the context yes yes uh, dr pranoy uh, yes. you have given the opportunity to answer this very relevant question number one we should be reminded of the fact that uh, the uh, the birthday of one of the founders of janasang deen dayal upadhyay was on 25th of uh, october and it was then or uh, september it was then that uh, the head of rss mr mohan bhagwat speaking in context of the philosophy of integrated humanism that is antyodaya concept of deen dayal upadhyay had talked about as to how the reservation should be helpful to the person standing at the end of the queue and this was quite contextual it was not in context of the bihar election but you are you but telling me let to some amount of political bickering some no, just a second Fine, since it led to some amount of political bickering two things happened no two things happened no there no wait, before you get into what happened issued by the sun and there was a resolution issued by the rss both denying that the rss chief had to do anything with the present reservation policy he was not commenting on but the that present that was too policy. late but it still, this led to a consolidation of the dalits and maha dalits because uh, I, i i cannot believe that that was not that he wasn't aware that this would happen that this statement made in the beginning of an election was just uh, he didn't realize it would have a huge impact on the election do you think he had no idea it was going to have any impact <coughs> on the election no look i mean we have to see all this in context again in the sense that before he that made uh, this inter he gave this interview no. about deen dayal upadhyay there was a second interview of the rss chief approximately 2 months before this interview where he reiterated saying that i want the reservation policy to continue till the dalits are not benefited that means very clear words unminced words he had said that the present Dilma. reservation policy should continue Dilma. but the selective choosing and picking of one of the sentences that but he he repeated it uh, again if i can twice three i thought three times no, 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 three no, times no, 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 dr roy if he repeated it remember Especially there was a letter by rss right. saying that mr shadri chari wants to say something one second one second one second yes the 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 question is what is the impact, impact in spite exactly. of all these things if the impact had been so drastic as far as the voting percentage is concerned i am not talking about the number of seats seats no. are okay 
but if the voting percentage had been so dramatically changed no 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 it is the okay. issue is and, and what would thing, have happened one thing what would have happened two. if he had not said it would there have been no. less consolidation would I, there have been a swing no, away I, I, that's the issue that, that's very let's have a look at some of that particular right. statement it's very difficult to say how it has affected right. just as during the other elections once uh, the congress president said he she used the word uh, uh, for narendra modi no. मोदी Uh, which were uh, unparliamentary and inappropriate and he was very quick to correct himself and he said in fact to me he said kai bar cricket khelte hue no ball white ball ho jati hai mm-hmm. how come nobody was willing to say this time ke no ball white ball ho gaya ab aage se nahi karenge ye galat ho gaya let this not be counted nobody distinct but galat nahi tha na galat tha agar galat hota to sarsanchalak ka nahi keh raha sarsang sarsanchalak only restated a well known documented rss position on reservations let's be fair okay right? uh, uh, like let me let me actually but it is not it is not a well known rss position na it's not that no it is one, we just one second i just want to just one second i mean we are not, we are we are not we are not discussing reservation as of now hmm. but More importantly, it was Bala Sahib Devras, the third Sarsang Chalak of the RSS, speaking in Pune. He had said that untouchability <coughs> is wrong. It has to go lock, stock, and barrel. Well, you know, we will have this argument later, but we'll, you know, we'll this will be more convincing when you when we see somebody from Dalit community as the head of RSS, as Sarsang Chalak. That you know, uh, and it, can it, I just it, it doesn't need we'll reservation. Discuss, we'll Shekhar, just one RSS. second. You asked yeah. about the impact of all this. Let's have a look at some of the actual okay, data. Okay. Again, it's not polling <laughs> data. What happened in, for example, in scheduled caste seats? Was there? Uh, the bjp was targeting the dalits and mahadalits and trying to get them to swing over but look at what happened in uh, high scheduled caste percent uh, scheduled caste percentage seats in fact the bjp just got 2% more here and the rjd jdu also got 2% more so really you did not manage to polarize or track them uh, and this is just election data from the election commission uh, let's have a look at the difference there for, uh, from this compared to yadav Uh, constituencies high yadav percent areas jdu rjd 89% per- in yadav seats and There 70% in others of the yadav seats yes 89% Overall, of the yadav seats 70% of all seats but 89% of the yadav <coughs> seats <is> right. <coughs> so yadav well, yadav se- where the yadavs are dominant is where the yadavs yes, have like more than 25 okay. 35% like that the bjp also has eminent yadavs but you only happen to have got 8% 8% that is fine, like fine. a huge right. difference e- talking even, about impact e- even in 2010 the Uh, JDU had got 66 percent of the Yadav seats. Yeah, only 17 percent came from 19. Now. See, that's a big difference. Okay, See, now that, next that close uh, election, uh, let's have a look at. Differences make a very big. Uh, that's a huge difference. Uh, we have some other. Uh, do you have? Uh, let's have a look at the EBC seats. Look at that again. It was not a huge. There, to there was yeah. the BJP did manage to get some EBC vote. You can see from 24 as average on they won 24 on average of other seats, non-EBC seats, and 26 percent, but not substantial. While uh, the JDU did go down Which by three percent. Which is what you were targeting with Mr. Khushwa. Yes. It didn't work yes. out. No. Yes. EBC. Uh, my, the Bhagwat Ji's statement came. Yeah. After that, the actual effect that was read was that it was EBC. That's why it became less. The first election was read that 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 the first election was कि मैं मंडल का वकील रहा हूं और मैं जानता हूं कि आरएसएस जो जिस जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी की जो आइडियोलॉग है वो चाहती है रिव्यू करना शायद उनका बयान इसलिए भी हो कि अपर क्लास को मोबलाइज करना लेकिन मैं चाहता हूं कि प्रधानमंत्री आज ही या कल बयान दें कि बिल्कुल रिजर्वेशन में कोई दखलंदाजी नहीं होगी लेकिन पंद्रह बीस दिनों तक प्रधानमंत्री की तरफ से कोई बयान नहीं आया चुनाव से अंतिम चरण में दो दिन पहले उनका बयान आया कि अगर मैं जिंदा हूं 
तो नहीं होगा इसका नतीजा हुआ कि जितने ईबीसी हमारे वोट थे जो भगे थे वो सब पोलराइज हो गए पंद्रह दिन नहीं था प्रधानमंत्री जी ने दो दिन तुरंत दो दिन बाद स्टेटमेंट दिया है सर माफ कीजिएगा अभी दो दिन पहले जब अंतिम चरण के चुनाव के दो दिन पहले किया है मेरे पास वो स्टेटमेंट है इसीलिए मैं कह सकता हूँ मेरे पास वो स्टेटमेंट है नेवर आर्ग्यू अबाउट मैटर्स ऑफ फैक्ट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन दिस इज वॉट वी लुक एट रूरल एरियाज वर्सेज अर्बन एरियाज क्वाइट अ स्टार्क डिफरेंस रूरल एरियाज BJP winning they won only 20% of the seats in rural areas but 63% in urban areas <coughs> so urban seats which is only 10% of actually overall seats uh, that's about 24 seats they won 63% of urban seats and 20% of rural seats and look at uh, the other way around for the JDU 77 nearly 80% of the rural seats and much lower the urban seats so again the old pattern of the bjp where it became is urban uh, become a upper urban, urban, urban upper caste, caste party urban uh, forward caste party party we can bring in uh, a person who loves numbers and as a, a great statistical analyst cp joshi um in all the numbers that you've seen in this election uh, we had shown earlier that the strike rate the number of seats that the congress won as a percentage of its overall uh, seats contested was lower than the others it, from uh, 80 70% uh, congress was about 60% so you still not r- quite converting your contested seats into wins we have to analyze in terms of right the seats which were having in 2010 right we four contested seats. in 243 seats and we won only four seats correct and our vote percentage was 8.6% right. and this time when we entered into an alliance in alliance you have to accommodate the wishes of other partner while distributing the seats we have tried to uh, uh, argue for those seats where our performance was better in 2010 and roughly i can say that we have uh, uh, we have identified roughly uh, 65 seats where our vote percentage was more than 10000 in 2010 and in this alliance we got 21 seats where our vote percentage was more than 10000 if you analyze this 21 seats our striking rate of success is more than what jdu and RG, rjd is having we i knew you were a man of statistics But yes <laughs> so very interesting what you're saying so you're basically saying you were given a bum seats and you really couldn't choose them and uh, you did not do badly if you take compare like with like yeah am i right but i i do agree when we entered into an alliance correct because we have to accommodate roughly uh, more than 100 seats with between rjd and congress because jdu was having more than 115 sitting mls So for them it was very difficult not to retain 115 seats. Quite right. So the yes. rest seat they have divided between RJD and Congress. Quite right. Yes. So um, we were left no 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 way way out to uh, to accommodate those seats. Right. Where were we weak? I'm Where just going to weak? interrupt you for a second because we're just getting some news about something which, uh, in fact, Shishadri Char kind of alluded to earlier of a possible cabinet reshuffle. Uh, whether that's one of the impacts of this or whether it was planned before let's go across to rahul shivastav for uh, some update or news on on this cabinet reshuffle rahul dr roy we have been hearing for the last few days that there could be a cabinet reshuffle what has happened today that it has gained momentum now there are two elements to it one there has been a talk that a uh, lot of people who are non performers this government has been around for the last little over 17 months many ministers who have not been performing could well be shown the door and perhaps new faces could be brought in but what has happened over the last 24 hours is after the bihar debacle perhaps is an element that will prime minister narendra modi and mr amit shah the president of the party try to face accountability and accountability on two counts one count whether ministers there were 30 odd ministers who were campaigning in bihar 11 ministers were permanently camping in bihar for little over two months there was dadri happening there was dal happening there was beef happening and there was bhagwat happening but the ministers stayed put there and 
uh, these ministers were given specific zones. How has the party done those areas? That assessment may be done. And also coupled with perhaps in some cases, whether they have performed well in the ministry and not done well in Bihar could well be the assessment criteria. Then one very interesting element, will the Prime Minister be acting against those who have worked the communal lines, who have made uh, statements which have created trouble for the government? One will have to wait and see on that because on that there is no clear word. We are hearing that the Prime Minister and the Party President will sit down together. Otherwise, the Prime Minister scheduled uh, from to, uh, 12th till the 5th of December is packed with foreign visits. And that's why we are hearing a, a cabinet reshuffle could be happening after the winter session of Parliament right. sometime uh, in early January. Right. In, so fact, in fact, more than thanks, a thanks, Rahul, that's more than very reshuffle is called for. You know, uh, never more, more than an example. Re re reshuffle, reshuffle is reshuffle, called for. Because you know, as, we, as, as they say in marketing, never fight with the customer. Uh, in politics, never fight with the voter. Now, look at the crisis that the voter faces today. Dal prices, slow down in agricultural growth, call drops, non-creation of jobs, right? All Bihar ministers. The man <laughs> responsible for each one is a Bihar minister who was campaigning. Agriculture and food, agriculture minister and food minister, Radhe Mohan Singh, who only talks of Jaivik Kheti if you talk to him. Jaivik Kheti is organic farming, although you are an expert in Sanskrit now. Uh, uh, <laughs> what do you mean now? Uh, food, 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 <laughs> food minister, Mr. Paswan, skill development minister, Mr. Rudy, Rudy. and Call drop minister. You know, the, the one jibe that worked from Nitish constantly was every time Ravi Shankar Prasad attacked him, he said call drop minister and the crowds went up because everybody is suffering from call drops, everybody is suffering from rising phone bills. One big inflation in this country is rising phone bills because government is releasing spectrum in small parcels. Which may have more impact than Dal actually. Yes, because everybody is using phones and everybody uses data and all companies have upped their data prices while quality has gone down. So these things, the five ministers responsible for the most disastrous performance of this government were campaigning in Bihar. So voters are not blind or deaf. But Rahul also mentioned one other thing, I think, which uh, uh, Shadri Chari, you had talked about, the ministers who made irresponsible or divisive or communal statements, they may be dropped. Is that a welcome thing? Would that be welcome? No, I don't, I don't know the source of Rahul's uh, No, story. would you like to see that happen? But, <coughs> see, when you talk of corrective... You can say yes or no, no you problem. You can talk of corrective <laughs> measures. <laughs> it includes a lo lot of, it's two of <coughs> things. So, I think if it is all part of it. But, yes, if, if uh, some minister is found to be saying certain things which is not in keeping with the party's official line, I think the minister should be warned and then he should be told these things are not done. Is this the time to warn or is this the time to drop? drop. Yeah, I think in, in a democratic party like the BJP, we first give a warning and then... Surely warnings were given like... Warning was given. <laughs> in a, warnings were given by the voters. No, no, they were given by a party the president warnings. the other day. No, 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 no the, the party, party had to give the warning. What's unfortunate about the warning is that the warning was not given to Mahesh Sharma. He was instead given Kalam's house. <laughs> No, uh, the, CM of, the CM of Haryana was not summoned and warned, Mr. Khattar, no. after he made, gave that terrible no, no, interview no, no. to the Indian Express. No, 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 no. See, right? if uh, you it's only Sangeet Soom, Balyan and I think no, uh, Adityanath. Two how of them came out and said, we weren't told anything and Adityanath continues to be as how we said you earlier, interpret, How do you interpret is different. But the party had called all these people. Mm. The party chief, uh, the, the president of the party spoke to no, he all called of just them. three. He called no, MPs, all, all, not ministers. All, all four. All, all the ministers also. No, no. Minister no, no. also. Jalisa. Minister Jalisa. also. Recheck the facts. No, the Balyan is the only minister called, not Mahesh Sharma. No, but Arvind <coughs> Gupta, can I just uh, ask Jalisa you also. to be absolutely clear on this? One thing is to call somebody behind the thing. We don't know what's being yeah. said. This needs public. You need to get your message across to the voter or to all the public that I am censur censuring this person or I am sacking this person. Without any you can't do it behind the and he comes out and says nobody. <coughs> said Without any vote about it. Shouldn't there be some no ifs and buts? We, Mr. Modi is meant to be a tough leader. A lot of people voted him to be a tough. What happened here? Why can't these people who are da uh, damaging his own party, See, can't, even, even shouldn't they be tough? I am just asking about signals. I am not talking about... If you don't give signals, Arvind Gupta, you won't win elections, right? But I think you no. are go you are uh, going with this premise that whatever this fringe element spoke, they had no sanction from the 
main party. Oh, well, that, 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 no, that's, so a, that's a that's a that's a high question. Is that everybody can keep talking about, but mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, you know, irrespective of what people said or didn't say, but I'm I'm a, I'm a very big believer that any wrong communication needs to be nipped in its butt right there and then, because uh, it takes its own form. It hydrates and it, you know, it kind of uh, is always misused. B whatever number of clarifications keep coming, if you don't s stop a misinformation campaign, it always, inc uh, you know, exceeds its mandate, and it harms. In the end, harms you. You know, but uh, you know, there, there, there are two two issues of public communication. Right? One is condemning those who make bad and terrible statements, right? Which and clearly this government has not been doing that. The other is visible public expressions of empathy with the victims of crime and intolerance. You know, compare. Obama's reaction when Emma, the clock boy, right, was, was arrested by the police in Texas. He could easily have said, as Mr. Modi has done, that, oh, law and order is a state subject. What does this have to do with me? He apologized. He invited that boy to, uh, to the White House. And it was, it was a public event where the president is saying, look, as president, I don't want my country to do this kind of thing to young kids, right? Prime Minister Modi has the time to tweet uh, a get well <coughs> message to uh, Navjot Sidhu. But the father of an Air Force man is murdered in Dadri and you know, it takes him three, four weeks to give a very mealy-mouthed uh, uh, you know, uh, comment Again, in highly you know, sanskritized the Hindi. The problem, the the problem uh, here is, Anand the problem Anand here is the all, all if facts. Obama does it, the opposition there doesn't say it is an eyewash. Here, if the Prime Minister does it, it becomes an eyewash. Ek baat karke let us, he do did it, it once and let's he see. Did, he did that. Never. He gave but statements. That is hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit high. You have to but, actually but, do but it to, and then of, say. In you spite know. of that, he, if you have he, decided he that this person has to be criticized, Bharati, how does it, how does no, it matter what the thing can be done? You know, had he gone to Dadri after he came back from the US and embraced that family, the entire country would have applauded him. I mean, in hindsight, you your Bihar result may things. have been different. For Sir, hindsight, but you can no, say no. This. Hindsight, you and hindsight, he should have said he should have. He should have done it. He, he should have. have done. He did Fine. it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's right. a good point. He did Raji. it. Let's just bring in Manoj Jha you know, from I, the I, RJD. I, Manoj Jha, just I'll to bring yeah. 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 in one of the mad man um, heroes of this. No, but I'll just add one more thing. You see, while you take action against people for irresponsible statements, please take action for incompetence. Both. Two. Yes. One for inaction, one for action. Incompetence. Right. I was the party president. 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 I was the the परंतु जिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट में उनको कहा गया और जिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट में देखा गया वो देखना चाहिए बेसिकली फ्रॉम योर परंतु बेसिकली योर ओके लेट्स जस्ट गेट इन मनोज झा जस्ट नाउ फ्रॉम द आरजेडी सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस आई थिंक द वरी बीइंग एक्सप्रेस्ड इन दिस पैनल इज हाउ लॉन्ग विल दिस अलायंस लास्ट two huge leaders who've been fighting each other for two de three decades are now coming together for a particular event. Now you've uh, done the, won the event. Will the alliance last or will it, will friction start? I'll tell you, uh, and, and very, very clearly so, that yeah. unlike BJP and my Prime Minister, we are not even management company. That is, that is more, I mean, it, they had not come together uh, just to accomplish a task and, and an event is over. You know, it has begun. It has just begun today. Uh, they had historic differences. We never denied. But we also believe that politics cannot remain in the rigid photo frames. Uh, we, realize, we had realized in May 2014 that there is a fundamental shift in Delhi. And we could also see through, through these months a uh, dictatorial tendency, a kind of uh, where uh, uh, dissent or any kind of opposition or difference of opinion is criminalized. Now, these were alarm signals. These, these were alarm bells for us. I mean, this, that was the reason that both the leaders and the cadre came together, not just to win Bihar Assembly polls. And I say this with firm conviction that the, the, the process begins from today. Our responsibility to govern well Bihar, that, that shall begin from tomorrow. But at the same time, we shall not confine. This mandate is not to remain confined 
only to Bihar. We, we, we look at the larger images, what we see in last two, three months, and Bihar wants to lead that kind of campaign, which provides at least uh, right. an alternative nuance. And I think uh, well, we'll just I come back that, to you. The, the mandate is also for that. Thanks very much, yeah. Manoj. We'll just come back to you. Just uh, please say yeah. that. Uh, Siddharth Vardarajan has got a question for uh, Ravi Shankar Prashad. Uh, good evening, Ravi Shankar. This is Siddharth here. Uh, you, you know, we've been analyzing the reasons for BJP's mm -hmm. loss, and I'm sure you have also, and you will do it in the days and weeks ahead. But is it, is it your sense that the, a defeat of this magnitude and of this political significance uh, should lead to accountability and some heads rolling, whether it is of leaders and ministers who said irresponsible things which alienated a section or a large section of the, uh, of the electorate, or perhaps those whose <coughs> performance has been under par uh, and whose uh, lack of d delivery, whether on food or d you know, different subjects, uh, has undermined the uh, claims of the Modi Sarkar to standing for development. How far are you prepared to take this accountability exercise within the party? Well, before I reply to your query, let me first today, because I am coming for the first time today, compliment Nitish ji and Lalu ji for a very extraordinary result. I have already personally talked to Nitish ji. Lalu ji had called me back. I am going to call him again. I had called him earlier because I had to be on your channel. I wish them well. I wish well for my state. Let them govern well. Deliver on the promises for development. And whatever extent of cooperation is required from government of India will be coming. Well, Siddharth, let me tell you, you must understand the extent of this loss of BJP and the enormous extent of victory of the combined. Uh, it requires much deeper examination. Being an activist from my student life of my estate, I am myself a little uh, at, a, uh, at a loss to understand the enormity of this loss. Two tentative reasons come to my mind. One, the, the percentage of votes of Laloji Nitiji, which I had thought would not come together, I had also argued with uh, Dr. Roy on the day of uh, the exit, exit poll, yeah. has gone very well together. Number two, Laloji was able to convey to his support base very aggressively that you have been out of governance process <coughs> since the year 2005. He lost 2005 election, 2009 Lok Sabha election, 2010 Vidhan Sabha election, 2014 Lok Sabha election. He was able successfully to convey, if you want to actively become a part of governance process, this is the time, please stand up. And they did. I saw samplings of that in Madhubani, in Darbhanga, where I was there. But this will be extent I could not think. The second, Nitishji's persona, his own track record and support base, all got together, complemented and supplemented each other. As far as Siddharth, your query about certain uh, comments are concerned, let me tell you, some of them ought to have been avoided. I personally, publicly criticized the comment on Shah Rukh Khan. And I said very clearly, he's a great patriot, done extraordinarily well. We are very proud of his abilities and talent as an actor of international repute. But the extent of this defeat cannot be explained by certain utterances here and certain statements there. They have been called, they have been taken to task earlier also. You all know it very well. But we have to go much, much deeper into it. Right, that's a, a quite a strong statement because uh, the, this indicates th this extent of this defeat is almost, uh, if not more, significant than the Delhi defeat. I mean, Delhi defeat is unprecedented uh, 67 out of 70 seats for uh, the uh, non BJP, for the uh, Ahmadmi party. Here, 178 out of 243 is huge. And you fought a development, but people saying you're development without harmony uh, and there's no action on the ground. You're not censoring uh, non-performers. You're not uh, stopping people making uh, divisive statements, which you also, as you just did, condemn, fortunately. So it's the time. Is it now the time for action on all fronts? Action on the economy, Dr. action Dr. on people who make Dr. wrong Dr. statements. Dr. Time for action so the voters sees it. Dr. Roy, one thing I must very clearly tell you. Yes. When we won so decisively in the 2014 Lok Sabha elections, we had won 31 out of 40 Lok Sabha seats in Bihar. Nitishji was 2, Laluji was 4. Then also this charge was thrown at us 
that we have communalized. Many of your friends sitting on the panel also said the same thing. I was with you from the BJP office on that day when we were winning Lok Sabha elections. So our tragedy is that if we win, then it is a communal card being thrown at us. If we lose, then it is thrown. That is not fair. When I am being very, very gracious in the defeat today, right. I would expect, yes, we will we'll look into it. You know it very well. Many of them were called by our party <coughs> president and publicly berated for that. That is a process that will go on. But we have a task for the country. Uh, we will continue to govern. We won five Lok Sabha seats, Vidhan Sabha seats from Haryana in the north to Maharashtra in the west to Jharkhand in the east to Jammu Kashmir deep north. From here, one for many. This is a setback for your daily, Doctor Roy. I must clarify you one thing. Uh, about daily, I one must clarify one thing. Right. Uh, we have been losing <laughs> Delhi since 1998, though we have been winning five, six Lok Sabha seats. So Delhi is a different ball game altogether, which but requires a different. Handling. They say a lot of similarities, and you learned nothing from Delhi and repeated many of the mistakes here in uh, Bihar. And it's, this is a setback for your Rajya Sabha plans, right? Big setback. Well, uh, I, I don't think so. Other elections will come. We have won so many. After all, whenever the Rajasthan election takes place, from Haryana to Maharashtra to Jammu Kashmir to Jharkhand, are we going to win or not? <coughs> and Bihar also we will win. Okay. The only point is, I would expect today, if we are gracious in our defeat, those who have won, particularly Congress party, will be gracious in the victory. Though their victory is only a reflective victory. Which came because of Laluji and Nitish. Shekhar. Uh, Ravi Shankar ji, if I may ask you a question. Don't you think your party has also paid the price <laughs> for allowing too much negativity to build around your government? Also, that negativity when seen with what I would dare to call as an average, if not below average performance during these 18 months. There are lots of things that bother people from dal prices to in fact if I may say, say it to you, call drops, which, which has now become uh, a pestilence uh, to those of us who are dependent on phones. Uh, there is a general impression that the government has not delivered on the development plank. So when you go to the elections now with development plank, with all this negativity, Pakistan, terrorism, India is now at its finest moment of internal stability since 1947. Nobody wants to believe that there is a grave threat to India which is live and kicking and all the time somebody is in my, in, in, in my backyard trying to shoot me. So why have we built this negativity and don't you think time has now come to calm this down? Uh, first of all, Dr. Shekhar, uh, Mr. Shekhar Gupta, I am willing to have a public debate with you on call drops. The second time you are not, not, not on the phone. <laughs> what I have done not not on the done. phone. Not because on the therefore, phone. Therefore, therefore, call on the landline. Second time <laughs> call on the landline. <laughs> therefore, you, no, you please, whatever I have done, which has rarely been done by other ministers in the past government, I am going to convince you it is improved. I am being very tough and will improve further. But I will have a public debate with you one day. And I'm going to, and what is your connection? So I'm going to tell my office to particularly monitor the mobile and landline. <laughs> no, please, please spare me. I think I monitored <laughs> adequately <laughs> by the past. <laughs> now, now, come, come in. <laughs> it is a lighter than Shekhar. Shekhar is lighter than Shekhar will change his I, number I, tomorrow. I, 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 I haven't I, changed I, my number <laughs> since 1995. Now you've had we it. We know it. That's <laughs> okay. You asked for that one. It. Then publicly tell me, publicly tell me who is your operator. Whoa. Oh. See, Shekhar. that doesn't matter because, you know, look, okay. look I, I, I will give you an example. If I try to watch a cricket telecast on Star TV's website, Hot Star, Hot, Hot Star for Shaker, one, Shaker, no, I am willing to have a public debate. Let's six, not do it today. Six, six deliveries in one okay. over. Or, I have to start have six here. I am willing to reply. Okay, I think let's just move on from this. Uh, just in summary, uh, thirty second summary of the lessons you've learned. One one mistake you made in this election, and the, what lesson you've learned from it. No, no. First of all, I completely deny Shekhar Chaudhary. We are not doing anything. It was not an election of right, state. Right, right. That's another election. issue. <laughs> nation, it is not doing state. anything. And they have to respond to what they have done. Okay. Okay. Public have given the verdict. We are accepting it in all humility. Okay. 
we are doing quite well. We will do quite well. We have an agenda of governance for the country and we will deliver. And the year 2019 will give account of everything as to what we have done for the country. No, Ravi Shankar now, Prashad, as far as the lessons are concerned... Just one second. Just one yes. thing. You met uh, Mr. Amit Shah today and you are going to meet him again. And you work quite closely with him in this campaign. What did you talk about that can be uh, known to the voter and the average viewer? No, first of all, all of us shared our sense of disappointment about the results. Why was, he, was he disappointed After and all, shocked? we have worked so hard. No, no, uh, we have worked so hard. Amit Shah, I must tell you, uh, uh, laid down new benchmark of hard work in the, in, as a party president, visiting a smaller districts, staying there overnight, micromanaging. All of us worked very hard. But we have lost, we have lost. But yes, I cannot pinpoint any one factor today except the two which I observed initially and that too tentatively because the uh, great extraordinary results in their favor and the extent of our loss require a much, much deeper examination. Let me say in conclusion, Dr. Roy, good luck to them again. Let them work for my state. Let Nitish Kumar in combination with Lalu Prasad ensure development for Bihar. <coughs> we eagerly await that. Right. I suppose we all await that and uh we look at what impact this has on all the other state elections and what happens at the center. We've completely run out of time. Uh, one person who's been very quiet except for asking a few questions and disagreeing with Shishadri Chari is Dorab. One point or a couple of points on the, uh, these elections, the impact and how different they've been from others. I think, you know, nobody expected the alliance, you know, as Saibal said, you know, they were friends in a way, cultural difference. But, you know, to the public outside, nobody thought this alliance would work as well. And I think that was the BJP's greatest hope. That hope didn't come to pass. Also, I think it, I think it will set a setback to BJP. They had 90 odd seats. Now they're down to on their own 50 odd seats. I think the Rajya Sabha juggernaut, which, which I think the result of that will probably be that they'll be more accommodative with the Congress. I think it's for the governing party, whichever it is, to be more accommodative and carry the opposition with it. And I think that is more likely to happen. One doesn't know whether the knives will be out for anybody because I think whenever somebody has power, there are other people who are out to get him. Right. That's the normal way of life. So yeah. I don't know whether that will now accelerate or whether Mr. Modi and Mr. Shah will be calm things down and perhaps change their routing a little to you know get a more more sort of subdued form of governance which all of us can Development with nation. harmony. That's May I say right. a word about the man of the moment, the man of the match, Nitish Kumar. I think we forget that this journey be begins in 2013, right, with that with that stand right. of principle where he right. says I'm going to break with BJP because I disagree with Which Mr. Modi. Which we criticised and he said was a mistake. Well, no, 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 breaking with Modi wasn't a mistake. Oh, sorry, sorry. Manji. Manji. Breaking well, I thought he meant Modi. No, 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 I'm saying 2013 he breaks stepping with Modi. Down, Everybody says what a fool you are. You, no, you, you're going to suffer. Yeah. Okay. And, and he weathers the storm in 2014. Yes, amazing, a terrible amazing, defeat. Amazing, and, amazing. and he bounces back in a way vindicating right. yeah, and his and original stand If I can have a word in, I think Modi's juggernaut has been stopped, but it may be the best thing for him. And second he, time Bihar has done this. If he, if, uh, if he can, if, if he can read the writing on the wall and focus back on governance, because now what he needs is not polarization but performance. Okay. So That's he needs to get want. talent into his cabinet. I'm being shouted all. at in my ear. If you had these, you would <laughs> not carry. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. We'll carry on this debate, uh, uh, not us, but with uh, a much better panel in a few moments from now. See you then.